All right, let's do let's do this game and let's play blindfold. Uh, okay, good luck. Okay, uh, got a nice Italian game here. A knight f6. I tried this once and realized my rating is way too low for this. It's tough. It's tough. Okay, we get d3. It's not a move I'm super excited to see because uh, these games are very often very positional, which is going to... I think it's going to be harder for normal. Harder than normal for me uh, when I'm playing blindfolded. Uh, but you know, we'll see how we do. Play bishop c5, lock Vindy. Yeah, he plays knight c3, which is a move I'm happy to see. Because the main theory plan states to play c3 and d4. So we should be pretty good here. Uh, a6. Um, we'll go a6. Yeah. I don't want to play d6 because if I play d6, then knight a4 picks up the bishop pair. And I don't think I like that. Is it hot in here? Bishop e3. Okay. Well, I don't need to take. I'm not going to back up either. Could play knight d4. It's not a bad move. Bishop g4. Bishop g4. Looks pretty good. Bishop g4. Oh. Oh, oh I didn't play d6 yet. Okay. Well, I guess we'll play d6. <laughs> um... I guess we'll start with d6 in that case. I thought I already played d6. Okay, this is going to be a good game. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a good game. <laughs> um, Did I bring water for the clock too? I did not. I'm sorry. I need to, I need to apologize to the clock after the game. What is my opponent? 1600? 1684, looks like. I intentionally chose... Um, a lower rated opponent for this game because of course it's it's going to be more difficult for me okay um yeah i think we just castle here it's a pretty standard play destroy them so badly that they cry for the next decade the decade's a long time though decade is good enough to go from 1600 to much better than 2182 <laughs> so um yeah you could you could spend that time doing something much more useful than crying although that's not to say that crying is a completely useless activity it can be a, a very nice cathartic coping mechanism so, yeah, crying is good. I like crying, but only when I'm by myself. Because otherwise it's embarrassing. If you're crying in front of other people, that can be that can be embarrassing. Uh, well, it, h6 is a pretty standard play here, I think. h6. Just kicking the knight away. And the knight can't come to f3 anymore, so... Uh, very, yeah, very, very standard. It's going to have to go to h6. And then I think we've even got some tactics here. Okay, well, the knight takes on h on f7, um, which of course is going to be good for us positionally. Although it's probably his best play anyway to sack the knight or the rook and uh, sack the knight and bishop for the rook and pawn. Water, water kills clocks. Okay, he takes immediately as well, which I think it was maybe possible for him to keep this pin for a little bit while longer. But, um, I mean, yeah, either way, uh, you know, it's not going to matter too much. We're still going to have the advantage here with two pieces for the rook. C7 is defended. You played knight d4 here. Knight d4, the queen's going to have to come back to d1 in order to guard c2. Still equal material, though. Uh, yo, bye, bear. What's up, man? Nice to have you again. Great to have you here. Yeah, great to have you here. 
Oh, bishop takes d4. Um, I kind of forgot about that bishop on e3, but that's okay because we take with the pawn or the bishop. Probably the bishop, I think. Um, okay, where are the pieces? So I've got a bishop, a knight. He's got a knight and a queen. And I've got a bishop on c8, the queen, pawns. And this should be where all the pieces are, right? Like that. That's where all the pieces are. Oh no, that, that pawn is on a6. Um, that looks right. All right, so I'm expecting c3 next. We'll probably play bishop g4. Right, I guess we'll, yeah, I guess we'll trade queens. Less pieces for me to keep track of. It's going to be good. The bishop pair should out play the rooks or the extra rook so um overall our opponent has just handed us a winning position uh, especially if they trade queens then it's just a matter of converting which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult now the question is do i take with the pawn or the king that's actually close i wonder i wonder if i could see the whole board if if my decision would be like really easy or if i still would be unsure I think taking with the pawn, because I think I want to play f5 a little bit later. Then it'll be good. Obviously, he has to play c3 to save the b2 pawn. We can just drop back to b6. It's no problem. So yeah, this should be pretty good. King e8 is obviously the best move. Uh, queen takes f6, king e8. Classic. Obviously the best move. Okay, he goes for f3, which is interesting. I think it's probably a mistake, though. It just gives my bishop such a nice diagonal, and um, the d3 pawn is probably going to be weak a little bit later. Especially set because we said we were going to play f5, right? So let's do it. Let's go for f5. He can't really play d4. Or maybe... Maybe this was maybe slightly inaccurate. I guess he's probably going to be able to get defile pressure with his rook. So he castles. But now we can I guess if we play d4, he has he got he has d4 himself. So let's start with bishop e3. Then we'll go for d4. Is that what we're is that what we want to do? Check. Could go for c5 here, just to clamp on d4. That actually looks like a fantastic move. We'll play c5. Yeah. Perfect. c5. I love it. Take? We'll just take. And that's going to be check. Yeah, mostly the main plan here is we're just stopping d4. Just for h4. I don't think that really does anything. Uh, we play f4. Yeah, I think we do. We'll make the g pawn backwards. And we're going to get very nice rook pressure on this g file. We've got the pawns all in a row like this. And he plays rook d, e1. But I don't think that's a big concern. Does this, does this bishop placement matter? Probably bishop e6 the best but it's hard to say a bishop e6 and we just want to play rook g8 could continue storming the queen side here as well it goes for g3 but we do now have bishop f2 which should just be omega winning yo the clansman what's up man clansman 70 yo thank you very much for the raid with the nine people I know it's it might not seem like a lot, but nine people, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. That's like as many people as were in my college writing class. So I mean I mean that's like a whole class of people. That's it's a lot. Uh yo, but thank you for the raid. We're just doing some nice old classic blindfold chess right now. Uh you know, I mean you know the deal. Classic blindfold chess. Just a regular old Tuesday. Um now, the question here is, you take with the pawn or the bishop, and I think you take with the pawn. You take with the pawn? 
looks good and we are actually threatening the immediate g2 i believe yeah because there's a pawn on f3 so rook takes f2 is not going to be check so we are threatening g2 immediately yeah even one person is amazing Greetings from Germany. Um, uh, uh, guten, guten Nacht. Uh, guten Nacht at Germany. Uh, uh, guten Nacht at Deutsch Deutschland. Perfect. <laughs> um, oh, th thank you to German. Thank you. What's up to the German? Guten Abend. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Pawn plays a3 and immediately proposes a take back. Okay. I'll, I'll give you the benefit of a doubt and say that that was a mouse slip. Good knocked. Okay. Got, got it. I don't know a lot of German. That's that's basically as much German as I know. And and like, like I know like a little bit of Ramstein, you know? Ramstein? 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 Which one is it? Ramstein, though, I mean, Ramstein has got the bangers. I, I mean, radio, Deutschland, both massive, massive bangers. So yes, big time, big time hog on uh, Ramstein, Ramstein. Okay, I don't think Rook D one does a lot. So I'm just going to play rook g8. I think that's good. Good night, clans, clan, uh, clansmen. Have a good, great night. Done a lot, done enough blunderings tonight. Yeah. Go to bed. Nice band. I'll check the pronunciation right now. Ram. How do you pronounce this? We are looking at how to pronounce the name of this German musical band. We'll be looking at how to say more interesting and often mispronounced names from music and also more names from German that are confusing. So make sure to stay tuned for those. How do you say it? In German, it is said as Rammstein, Rammstein. So an emphasis on the first Ram syllable, and it's not Stein. Yes, I know it's an ST, but it's pronounced like CHT rather, Rammstein. So it'd be fine in English to say perhaps Rammstein, Rammstein, but not Rammstein, Rammstein in German. And now, you know. all right, we're just gonna go with Rammstein. <laughs> that was a i don't know did you guys were you guys able to hear that video okay uh so we're up a queen my opponent has no pieces left but i can't remember where all the pawns are i think there's a pawn on c3 um we're just gonna go check we're gonna play queen f3 next because i think there's a pawn on f3 so let's just get rid of that one or if my opponent goes to the back rank, that that would be perfect. That's that's of course the most ideal situation because then we can just um, we can just clean things up. I think without too much problem or without too much trouble. King C one. Okay, I think I can pick up the A two pawn here. So yeah, let's do that. We'll play Bishop takes A two and then. Probably back to b3 and should be mate in a couple more moves. Why only have 2k? Oh, you weren't able to hear it. Oh. Um, it was like a one minute video on how to pronounce uh, the uh, how to pronounce Rammstein. Right. Or, Rammstein. Uh, all right, cool. All right, good game. Good game, Lockvindy. Yeah, I think this is a pretty standard game. I mean, I think my opponent made a pretty egregious positional blunder in the beginning, which was this 
this knight g5 combined with queen f3 combined with knight f7. I think queen f3 was probably the mistake because now after h6, uh, the knight has to come back to h3. And then, um, well, I was thinking that there was this knight e4 move and that this probably wasn't very good for white because if white moves the queen back to defend c2 then they get their shattered but this is probably not super bad for white to be honest so maybe queen f3 is not a super bad move uh but knight takes f7 is definitely not what you want to be playing because even though the rook and the pawn and the two minor pieces even though they're both worth six points um the minor pieces can coordinate together much much better than the rook and the pawn especially in the early game and middle game so um it just leads to um a big disadvantage it's it's almost never going to be worth it um you can see the computer completely agrees i already have a massive advantage after king takes f7 or rook takes f7 uh and yeah my opponent just made it very easy they traded everything and then we we stopped this d4 breakthrough that was i think the next big thing um although that was our job to do really at that point that was just conversion technique um and then after we stopped this breakthrough the next main thing is fixing this as a backwards pawn so now we have a now we have a big target to go after which is a g2 um and then the final blow was just this tactical mistake of g3 which just falls into the fork unfortunately um and yeah my opponent they sacrificed i think they basically just gave up after this uh, i couldn't really remember where all the pawns were at the end because i was focused i was focused on uh other things like uh i was, I was just chatting with chat and stuff i figured the position was was very winning um and i was up a queen so i'm like okay now that i'm up a queen i can kind of forget about the pawns um but i did remember that uh there were pawns like this so i figured okay i'll take here and then i'll come back to b2 uh, i didn't remember where the d3 pawn was though i can remember if it was on d3 or d4 um although if i had thought about it for like two seconds i would have realized it was on d3 because we prevented this d4 right that was the whole point of c5 uh, and yeah, just to mate in a couple more moves. So yeah, Lock Vindy, very good game to you, my friend. Very good game.